Hi, I'm Eddie Abu and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know anything about me, I'm a former professional bodybuilder. I was a British number one bodybuilder, British champion. I was one of the only few men to compete at the Miss Olympia level. I competed against Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, who are multiple Miss Olympia winners. Now I'm here, I'm trying to share my knowledge with bodybuilding, my experiences with bodybuilding. Now today I'm talking about food. And if you're a bodybuilder and you're traveling, this is what used to happen to me. Most of the pro shows that I did were in the States and um, the foods that I needed to prep were real food. There was no junk. There was nobody was prepping with bagels and all the pop tarts. No, everything had to be single ingredient foods. And I found out that the foods that I did, um, I learned something. I read something in the magazine a long time before then it made sense. And then somebody was saying that for carb loading, try and use the carbohydrates that you ate as a child. And obviously, I don't live in the country I was born in. So I remember calling my sister and I said, sis, yo, do you remember what I used to eat when I was a child? She goes, no, you like this, um, these things called cocoa yams? I'm like, absolutely. Because I'd eaten them for a long time. So I remember I went to London, I went to Tottenham Court Road and I bought a load of cocoa yams and then I peeled them. And then I was competing in the States. Now. Every time I went to compete in the States, somebody would ask me after the show, somebody said to me, Eddie, you look really good. Or, Eddie, you didn't play so well, you didn't look that great. And I always said to them, that was down to the customs, custom department. Why? Okay, so I'll get to the States, and because you never knew where you're going to be, and obviously I was always on the budget because you didn't have big sponsorship behind you, everything, I had to pay for everything myself. So you get to the, um, I'd get my food ready for my carb load, and we're talking about eating 1,500 um, grams of carbs every single day for three days for my carb load. So in the plane, I'll be eating just protein and vegetables, no salt, and then drink a liter of water every hour. So I'm going to LA, for instance, I'll be on the plane every, I used to get a seat outside the toilets because that's the only way I was weighing every two, then every um, five minutes. And then I'll have my food cooked, frozen, and in my suitcase. Every time I got searched and they took the food away from me, that's when I didn't look my best. Now this one incident, I was Phoenix, Arizona. So I got to the airport and they took the, my, my suitcase from, from me. The lady opened it and she looked at it, she said, what's this? Went through the x-ray, looked at it. She saw I had yams, I had cooked, so I used to carb load on yams and then ripe plantains and rice and then red meat. That was my carb load food. And I'll eat a shitload of that. At least I was trying to make about 1,800, um, 700 grams of um, carbs per day. And then she looked at she me, did you feel the foam? Did you feel, feel, feel the foam in the plane? I said, yeah. You know, you're not supposed to bring this. And she took the food and threw the food in the bin. And that's what she did. I remember I sat at the airport and I cried because I knew that was the end of the show. And the prep had been so good. I knew I was going to do well. I didn't. That's the realities of, of the sport. So after that, I realized that my show was going to be de depending on what happened at the customs. I'm doing this video because I'm telling you that at the lengths we went to to eat real food, because we wanted to make sure that everything that we put in ourselves, obviously we're taking steroids, we're not talking about, we're talking about food, because foods worked better. Real food works better than junk food. When you guys are carb loading on that, yeah, you may look good, doesn't mean you're healthy. Because I see these bodybuilders and I look at them thinking, your skin is shit, your, your mood, you can see your mood. Everything about you is miserable because you're eating junk food, you know, these food with these chemicals and stuff like that. Guys, eat real food. For bodybuilding, if you want to eat carbs, you've got oats, you've got, we used to eat white rice. That's still better than all the other crap that you get. So you've got rice, you've got sweet potatoes, you've got potatoes, you've got, um, we used to eat quinoa, all these things just, they are better than all this other processed stuff with all these chemicals and emulsifiers and all these additives that somebody put together in the lab. So all I'm saying is eat real food. You find that you build muscle a lot faster. And I, that's one of the reasons why I wrote my muscle building ebook. I'm trying to help you young people realize that despite all the crap you're being told about research, this and research that, and this gets to your, your system a lot faster. It's all bull. They're trying to get your money. They're trying to dazzle you with science and research. If you ever see any research, always ask yourself, because research is expensive to conduct, who, who paid for it? 
And the other thing is when it comes to food, don't believe any research about food at all because can you imagine you, we've, we followed somebody, we followed 20 people for um, a year to see if this food, how many, what, what else are they eating with it? What are their lifestyles like? So if you live in the worst, people are going out, getting drunk, your lifestyle will impact on the research. So please, please, please do your own research on yourself. Thank you for watching this video and give us a like if you want to hear more of my stories.